Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. So I have finished um, the beautiful People's Princess uh, from Diamond Art Club by Mandy Manzano. Oh, there is a little, little mini drill in there. So it was an absolute joy to work on. If you have seen my whipping chats for the past few weeks, I have been working on her. But as you can see, I know she's like turned round, but it's because I couldn't get her all on that way. But um, let me just, in fact, I'll just do one nice turn around so you can see her like this, and then just pushing her down. This is the beautiful Princess Diana. Uh, but then I will turn her back round now just to show you guys down here was like literally this entire spiral is like black got loads of black here black there it's quite blocky which was great because this is like the ideal painting for me it's like you've got several colors but it is all blocky and i just love the background pattern it's so beautiful and then you've got the extra drills in a crown um everything was absolutely stunning to work on in this one I genuinely thought it was so so lovely um, as always the drills the round drills from Diamond Art Club are second to none the canvas is beautiful there's no weird randomly placed drills I'm just noticing like little bits of stuff I'm so I'm so OCD when it comes to my canvases so OCD just like getting the fluff off. I need a roller. I need one of them um, lint rollers. But yeah, I've absolutely enjoyed it so, so, so much. So she will be going in my portfolio. Um, and I need to now de-kit the drills. So have I done a de-kitting in this house yet? I have, haven't I? I've done Snow Queen. So uh, where did I put them? Oh, here. <laughs> So here is the drills, um, so I did have some leftovers and I managed to put some of them in the bottles just because it's easier going from bottles to bags as I was going but then I do have two that I couldn't fit in. So I have a full bag of 310 remaining and some 3799 so I just need to make sure I remember to do them. So this can go back was my baggie and I can get my first box of drills I love this box and they've got some more really nice ones out but yeah I do like this box I like the, the little um, floral print and then it's like different on the box it's like a a zigzag -y. you can't really see it from there but I don't want to tip it upside down let me just actually if I put the lid on I'll be able to tip it that way so you can see go so yeah I really do love it so this one is my first box I am thinking I want to make the dividers a little bit different because these are um well, I might not make them too different but so far I've got dividers like this the little diamonds on them I don't know what I want to do um, but I am going to need to create some new ones because I do have come in a small different box for like my special drills which I do actually have a special drill to put away in this painting today but anyway so um, I will leave number one because that is AB and that goes somewhere else so 310 straight in the deep end with 310. I don't know how many more 310s I can have, but I have a ton. And I have basically a full bag there. Um, so what I'm going to have to do, and I have to do this basically every time I do get a 310, because I just get them so much is I need to get a baggie for them which I have 
a ton of them are nice ones. I have a ton of baggies here. And I need to see if I've got any spare stickers. A 310. So let's have a look. I know I do somewhere, but it's where I have them. Is the question. So let's have a look. So here is squares, they all squares. I think I did it now, so I had all my squares together. And all my rounds. Let's have a look. Three ten is gone from that one and from that one. So then now I have these which were like the dodgy prints because obviously I really don't care if it's perfect. These were like the dodgy uh, prints from when I tried to print out my baggy stickers. So I'm sure we have three ten here which we do, so I'm just going to steal one off of there. They were just, they didn't print like perfectly in the middle, so my OCD just had me. So that's why I have them. But I thought mm, they'll come in handy for when I'm bagging up extras. Like so I just kept them so what I do because I have them that are left over here I have a full bag here and then I have like a pretty full bag so what I do because I only put full bags in my extra spares what I will do is put the full bag in and the extras into this baggie and then I will just top it up with whatever's left in my spare storage so that's that and then this pot It's just the way I do it. I mean, some people prefer to have this as just a full bag in their storage and then like diddy half bags. But I like to do it like this because in a second I'm going to put on my Gems Flow app that I have a full bag of round 310 or another full bag because I already have some. But I've just filled that up ever too much so I can't even close it oh. there we go it's better you just get these in there we go so that's a full bag for my storage and then that's a smaller bag to go back in my uh, spares it just means that as well when I then go to dekit again I'm not always having to do this and get a new bag for my extra spares so here are my extra spares bar these that need to go in um, a special drill box so I already have three bags of round 310 in my spares and now I have an extra bag of round 310 so I have four bags of round 310 so what I'll do I'll do it now is I'll go on to gems flow when I work out where I put it I can't even remember what it looks like, so that's the reason. 
Hmm. Why can't I see it? I'll search it. There we go. It's just quicker to search it, isn't it? So I don't even know what it looks like. Um, so let me just zoom in here. So what I do is I go to colours. It's on round. So if I go 310, I have three bags in stock, three and a half. I now have four bags in stock. So you can see there, it says that there's four bags in stock. And so I know without even looking at my extra spares, I have four bags of 310. Okay, so then I'm just gonna take off the sticker and then that one's done. Oh, usually you you do a few before you get to the dreaded 310. Whereas I've gone straight in at the deep end. The first colour I've done has been a pain in the bum. Okay, so 317. So these bags are only for Diamond Art Club drills. So it just means it's dead easy to put away a Diamond Art Club painting. I mean they may end up getting um, drills from different companies in them at some point but currently I just I like to put my nice drills together um, as like a collection because these bags are my little collection, my little stash. I want them to be the nice drills and then I do also have a bag in here for the less nice drills the ones that I get from my cheaper paintings the ones that tend to be acrylic drills rather than resin um, and that'll be where I tip the extra extras into because I don't care what's in my extras so I'll, I'll use whatever um, which I will eventually use as well on a another painting. So I'll do like a heaven and earth designs, I think. So three, five, six. But yeah, I do actually, I did find a box. Oh gosh, my sleeve just caught me then. It's just popped up these. Don't know why that happened. Um. I have actually bought a box now for my specials because I was looking for a smaller photo box. I wanted a pretty one. And I went through the rigmarole of all different things. I, I went hunting for if shops had gift boxes in that size. And I also went looking for like, you know, um, index card boxes and recipe card boxes and stuff like that um, and I didn't find anything I wanted but I did find a box that is called the Empty Box Company on Etsy although I'll be honest I'm a bit annoyed because it said dispatches with so on Etsy it physically says in their announcement which they've written themselves we dispatch orders within a couple of days um, and then Etsy give you a time frame of when you can expect to receive your order by and that said like in a week and I was like okay that's fine then I get an email from them from their customer support so it's going to be five weeks and I just thought to myself I'm not being funny and I actually did email back because I just thought they need to know like if they don't already know which they should do they need to know like on Etsy it's dead easy to change your um, processing time like how long it's going to take you to make the product like so for me for our store I had two I had one to two weeks on and then we got really really busy and I changed it to two to four weeks so people could expect 
from me that our trays would take a month to basically be dispatched two weeks at the earliest if you know we happen to get down some faster than we expected so I like to put a, a window on um, but I literally went on and had a look on the Etsy when I saw this email and it still said the two days it still was saying I'd get my order within the week I just thought you need to change that because it's not right like what if like what if because it was a photo box what if I thought oh I'm gonna make my boyfriend a really nice photo box for Valentine's Day and I looked and it said I'd have that box with me this was last week it would have been with me at the back end of last week um, and then they said that it'd take five weeks like that's something that you should have the right to know so I just got a bit annoyed and I emailed because I just thought you know you should know that <laughs> you should do that that's just good practice um, but evidently I'm gonna have to wait for that box and then I was contemplating, well, why don't I just get one more of these boxes? It's a lot cheaper as well, because that box cost me, like, £20. I don't know whether to just ask to cancel it, to be honest. I don't know. But... I just think one of these boxes might be a bit too big. But who knows? Who knows? Um, yeah, like the more I contemplate that, the more I'm like, hmm, maybe I should have done it. But it's done now. I've ordered it. I've paid for it. I just don't really have the space at the moment on my shelf for um, three of these big photo boxes. But realistically, I do need to go to um hobby craft because it says that this styles out of stock online which i think means that they're getting rid of it and i could do with another couple of boxes um for in case i ever need to go into more so i might need to nip to the shop and order it from there right my battery is just about to, not my battery my memory card is just about to save so let me just save it so saying that I've just saved my memory card right and I thought oh, okay I, I need to drink my cup of tea so I sat there for a few, few seconds drunk my cup of tea and I thought mm, I might look on Hobbycraft right now just to see if I can see if they've got any left in store because it did say like oh check available stock in store on it the other day when I looked and I've typed it in and they don't even have these anymore so they must have completely sold out which is what I thought they were going to do and they've removed them from the website so I can no longer get this box so if I ever need to go into three I think what I'll end up having to do is I'm just going to buy four and separate squares and rounds like um, Rebecca aka four kids at 147 storm I mean I'm I'm a way off but I was just thinking for in the future like you know because I really do love this box design I'm so happy I changed it from the the like the rose gold blobs which if you know me you know I absolutely adore rose gold but I just weren't feeling the box I thought it just it ended up looking a bit gammy it looked a bit scruffy with use which I didn't like um so I changed it and I'm much happier with these boxes I mean they do have other floral prints and I'm sure they'll always have some floral box of some sort but they do like change. They've also got a really nice like leopardy print one, which I've got like 
a notebook from WH Smith's to match, but so I'm sure I'll always find something. But yeah, I was just going to be a bit proactive and just basically order some until I needed them. But that was not to be, was it? So it's fine. So we are on to colour 13 out of 27. I still have number one to do. I, just, I love kitting down. I mean, I love kitting up more, but I do love kitting down. Just because I like to go through my pretty spare drills and I'm just waiting on the day that I can put, I can fill up and have like some prettier colours like in my extra spares because oh well oh this will do it um I thought we were gonna get some royal blue guys because at the moment I've literally just got um 310 939 and 3371 which as you know or you may not know if you do know that is black really really dark brown basically black and really really dark blue basically black so they're like really dark dingy colours and it's like what painting can I do with just some colours I want more so that I can actually do a painting using my spares that is the dream so 820 I also I'm pretty sure I have quite a few of I do but still not enough to make a full bag. So this box that I've got here isn't all of my drills, it is just up to 900 or 899. 900's actually in the next box. But I do think I need to rejig it a bit because I have more in this box and they don't sit all flat if you can see because I have more drills in this box than I do the 900s to the end. So I think I need to jig it up. It's just really nice that it ends at 899. Um, so I am holding off, but I will need to do it at some point. And I also need to, like I said, um, do some new like card stock stickers and some card stock for when my new box comes. So I might show you guys how you can do your own because I've done my own. Um, Purely and simply because I'm my own person, I have my own sort of uh, style, my own taste. So my baggy stickers, they are they still have like diamonds on them, if you can see, but they are all rainbow because I love the rainbow. Um, I love all colours so I decided to like do it so they were rainbowy so that one was orange this next one's yellow so it just like basically repeats itself it goes red, pink, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple and back to red I think I'm not 100% certain what order but it is all the colours of the rainbow and then like I've showed you my uh, card stock numbers have um, diamonds on them as well and they're like pink to match the boxes but I think what I'm gonna do because I could just it depends if I've got the files still for it which I'm not 100% certain if I have if I haven't got the file for it, I'm just going to make new stickers and just change everything because I'm OCD and it all has to be the same. But if I have got the same file, I might just 
do more because they are pretty. Um, eight, nine, four. Is a very bright pink that I've never had before. Um, in the back end of the numbers as well, they're the ones that I've got quite a few very full pops. So that is the last one for this box. I need to just give it a jig because this middle row is sitting very, very nice. And then these other rows are sitting awful. Like literally, they couldn't be more ugly. So let's just sort it out. Get them propped up. pretty <laughs> just slapping my box I just want them to sit nicely in it but they are this box is quite full to be fair they are stood up like soldiers and some of my numbers do have extra bags behind them because if I've had them in a non DAC painting I um, get an extra bag for them the idea is one day I will just have nice bags because I'll only do nice paintings. Oh, that was meant to go in my other box. I'll put it away in a bit. Uh, whereas this one, can you see like, oh my God, there's so much room. They're like flopping about. Apart from the middle of that last box. is super floppy, but that's because I'm keeping my ABs in here. Which also need moving kind of to that box I've put them there now so and I need that card keep that that just says ABs I'll keep that for my other box so I'll keep that spare right so 948 So yeah, I do realistically. Maybe I could move over all the 800s. I might do that actually after I've just done this. You know, so this, because then I just need to print out a label, don't I? Is that in paper or card, that label? Because if it's card, that's a bit of a pain. Yeah, it is. I'm just looking at the label at the front of my box. And it's card, annoyingly. So if it was paper it'd be a bit easier to to change but I don't know if I've got any white card but I could just move over all the 800s essentially and have it so it's uh, 150 to 800 or oh, 799 and then 800 to 5,200, but I don't know. Uh, 951. Just equally, can I really be bothered? <laughs> I don't think I can. Um, no, I really should. Let's have a look. We'll do it afterwards. Or we'll have a think about it afterwards. So, because this is a... This is a nice painting to put away. The labels are nice to get off because the Diamond Art Club's like labels that are easier to peel off. Although she's saying that to one that is just stuck on a little bit more. They are, to be fair, they are a lot nicer. They don't leave that sticky residue. Although I will just give them a little wipe over with Goo Gone. Right, uh, 3371. is here oh look i'm gonna need a new baggy right so 
first of all, how many bags of 337 one do I have? Two. So, I need to see if I've got any spare stickers. I have 337 one. I don't think I do you now. So I think I need to use um, the spares of these. So essentially when I did the stickers I left some blank ones at the end. So I need another bag. And I need another sticker, which I need to run out on first. Pen. Going Harry Potter pen if it works. 3371. Even though I don't like Harry Potter, I think one of my friends or someone brought me it from Harry Potter Studios or my brother or something. So I do have a Harry Potter Studios pen. <laughs> oh dear. Right, so that's that one. And then, so I pull this out. Oh, I need to pop this behind. Pop it away. There we go. There's something in that. Um, so, open the bag, pop all of the drills that are in this pot in there, and plus the one row one. And then I'm going to use what I've got left over in my storage to fill up this bag so I have an absolutely full one. Which, do you know what? It might not be completely full. Oh dear. Well, what I'm going to do if it isn't, because it would have filled up this little bag, is I'm going to have to put this one behind in my storage just till I get a full one and they're not coming out and I'm not fighting with them. So it's not completely full, so I'm not going to pop it in my uh, extra spares. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop them both in my storage box. Because this one has enough room for me to do that. So there we go like that. Yep, because... That is how I roll. Everybody's different and everybody can do it how they like. You might put that in your extras, but I'm not. Three, seven, seven, eight. Is at the back here? Only four more colours. Oh, five more, because technically I have, oh, that nearly went awry. I nearly put three, seven, nine, nine in there. Good job they were completely different colours or so I'd have not spotted it. Right. Now I've only got four colours left to do. So three, seven, nine, nine. Oh, this could entail a new baggy. I think it's going to, which we don't already have. Do I have it in the ones that were already stickered? So basically, I have a full bag here of ones that were already stickered that say DAC on them. It was when I changed my system. Um, and I just decided that 
I was just going to have nice bags being Diamond Art Club. So I could tell them apart because they're different bags. Um, which I do. I have three seven nine nine, so it must be in here. And I just don't like wasting. So I thought to myself, well, I could just get the stickers, get rid of them and just keep the bags. But then I thought, hmm. I'm not going to do that because I just feel like it's a waste of the stickers especially when you know I might need them for extra bags so three should definitely be in here three seven five five three seven seven two they're not even in an order these were just absolutely just plonked in so that's why I'm having to like look through it all which is the only thing I should be more organised and I should put these in a bit of an order like we've got squares mixed in with rounds so I've just literally I'm on the hunt Genuinely, if I can't find it in here, I don't know where it's gone because it should be. Should be in here. Although I'm worried it's not because these. Even though I said they're in no order, they are kind of clumped together from the way that I did my storage. Do I already have some 3799 then? 3371? No. 37. Where is it? How strange. How strange indeed. So basically, I don't have any bags of it in my storage. This is why I'm saying I should have a sticker. I don't have any bags in my storage of 3799 that aren't my new pretty bags. And I'm one sticker missing, which means it should have been on one of these. There's 3799 in square. I don't have it in round. Was I looking at the square sheet? Or was I looking at the round? I don't know. All these stickers are coming off. So... Oh, I've still got a pile. Yep, I have no idea. So, I'm just going to get a poem from my sheet, I think. What a waste of time, Alicia. You genius. I also need a better system for extra spares because I don't have one. Um, so. Three, seven, nine, nine. Is there? And I need a baggie. Right, 
Maybe I need to write like a list of what I've got in them bags. So I can just, because stickers are like coming off of these, they're getting caught and coming off. Because they're not great, they're not like my nice stickers um, that I use, so that's why they're just coming off. Oh my goodness, I thought this video was going to be a lot shorter, but me taking the mix finding a bag that doesn't exist or it might exist but I have zero idea where it is has took a hell of a lot of time so let me just say my memory card there we go so for the rest of the evening today I am just going to be diamond painting um, which will be fun I'm going to work on Simba and Nala, I think. So this has done the same thing, you know, this though. It's not an absolute full bag. So, I'm just gonna pop it in here. So finally 3799 is away and um, we've got 3865 which is a very common white but to be fair I think most of the paintings I've had white in have used 5200 so I don't actually have a lot in my nice resin currently just diamond art club drills so they're going in there and then two more so and this has got to change but I have first of all I have these um, y, Y104s which are the really nice big special drills so I think I'm going to just pop them in one of my nice bags for the time being and I'll stick them up and then with my 141s I think I'm running out of space where I usually keep them because I get 141 a lot so let's see I haven't got 10 ton let's see if I can fit them in um, let me just get it Square. This is round. Oh. Pop them away. So this is my AB box, which I got from Diamond Painting Drills. Um, I've also got one in square, but this is my round one, where I have 75 round AB colours, and I absolutely adore them all. Um, so. I'm like literally cramped. So basically, uh, 141 is AB5200. Now you can actually tell from what I've got from diamond painting drills, a slight variation in the colour. Now you're not going to tell at all with this on a painting where ABs are concerned because the coating that glistens loads and loads and loads you're just not going to tell that if it's uh, the underneath is ever so slightly a different colour 
like the glisten will just you'll just not tell so I put them all in together there um, because I do intend to use them on more paintings like especially now I am doing um, more of my like, smaller ones I get from other companies that don't really have ABs in them I've decided to use them more in paintings but I've not on this recent this one I'm just doing now because I checked after I kitted it up actually stupidly of me but I checked if I had any in square that matched one of the colours of the paintings and then depending where it was I was either going to scatter it or um, just swap out the colour but I didn't have any that matched of ones that I thought made sense to do it with so I didn't bother but I am going to try more in some paintings to do it like I was thinking with that a painting I got to like um, change it out for like some golder or like some I think I've got some peachy colours so let me have a look do I have a sort of peach it's hard to do like here because I've got so many but like 223 that says it's a shell pink so like there's like a 223 or we've got 605 um, which is like dark bright pink or 894 which will be somewhere at the back so many colours 894 so I was going to see if I could change any out for that and make it more um, A, B and more sparkly. I'm just having a look here. So, Dusty Pink 963. Which is there. So, loads and loads of options. So, I do want to use these drills more. Having said that, the box was super expensive and for the UK they just have a flat rate shipping of £40 which was fine for like two big boxes like this, like £40 is probably what you would pay but if I just wanted the little bags to replace them I'd have to probably get them from somewhere else which I don't know if I want to do. So um, yeah that is how I keep them. And so that's put away. This is almost empty. I just need to take the sticker off of the front. Um, and then I just need to Google my box. So I need. Why can't I get to towel, my rag, my filthy rag, my goo gum rag and I get some goo gum. I did have the Pro Power but mum used it on and then I couldn't find some more on Amazon of it. So I have just got the normal and it literally should take me two seconds this time because there's like hardly any sticky residue on these bottles so it's just me giving them a bit of a clean ready to use next time and just on the front give it a bit of a wipe down because you could just see around because that sticker was on it for a long time you could just see it but that is it just in time for the sun to go down so that's my painting kitted away thank you so much for liking subscribing and commenting and of course watching and until next time see you in the next one